Here is another strumming pattern. This is a building block to actually my favorite one. I'm just giving you easy, broken down versions of more complicated strumming patterns so we can eventually get to the complicated ones and have them seem easier when we get to them because we've already started with a piece of it. And this is definitely like a piece of my favorite strumming pattern. As you can see the strumming pattern, we're doing down, down, up. The first down is a little longer than the down, up that comes after it. The line next to the down symbol indicates that. It's gonna be double the time that the other strums are gonna be. So remember when we got into the quarter notes and the half notes, we talked about that way at the beginning of this course. So a quarter note is one beat and a half note is two beats long. There's a few ways we could look at this strumming pattern, but we'll look at it the most simple way for now and look at that first down as two beats. So that's one, two, and then the down up after that are each one beat or each a quarter note. So if we're counting one, two, three, four, the first strum would last the two beats, one, two, and then the other two would fall on the three, four. Let me show you what I mean. I'm using the A minor chord. You can use any chord you want, but if we're counting very slow, one, two, three, four, and we're just using the same chord over and over again, getting used to the strumming pattern, this is what it would be like. One, two, three, faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now if we're changing chords, we're gonna go very, very slow. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four like that. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So make sure you get really used to the strumming pattern with just one chord over and over again. You can switch it up with the chords too, but just don't switch between the chords until you get really used to the strumming pattern because it can really throw us off sometimes at the beginning. You could count out loud in your head, use a metronome, um, but just make sure that first down strum is double the length as the other two strums, just as I played. If you're having any trouble with this, or if you have any questions, feel free to just post in the community, let me know. I know strumming patterns can get a little weird and to do it at the same time with your left hand, but really it just takes practice, it takes time, and I know you can do it because I've seen so many people do it. It just takes time, practice, and patience with yourself and really going slow. The slower you go at first, the less frustrated you will get with yourself because the faster you go sometimes, the more mistakes we make and the more mistakes we make, the more frustrated we get and it's this crazy cycle that we don't wanna be in. It's okay to make mistakes, but if you're making a ton of mistakes over and over and over and over and over again and you can't really get anything right, it's a huge sign that you need to slow down.